Superstars, I'm Adriana. And I'm Leah, here to deliver your Wednesday news. Today is Wednesday, September 14th. It's a DeFi day for special area classes. Now get ready for some super cool brain facts. Your brain controls your thinking plus your emotions. Sometimes your emotions can take over your brain, so keep calm even when things are tough. Keep watching to see a video about how the brain works. We hope you guys like these facts. Tomorrow is picture day. Order your pictures online now. Make sure to dress nicely and wear your best smile, stars. I'm ready to hear about birthdays. Alina Sinitson, Layla Smith, and Addie Tapia are celebrating. Go to the office after the show to claim your birthday surprise. For lunch, we're having mac and cheese with hot Cheetos or Bosco sticks with sauce. That sounds tasty. Pick up some salad to go with it. Ready for a super funny joke? How do baseball players stay cool? I don't know how. They stay next to the fans. That joke was from Miss Lucas' class. Make sure to put your jokes in the joke box or send it to abetvjokes at gmail.com. Next up, we have Mrs. Hawes' first grade, grade class to lead the pledge. Take, Take it, it away, away, stars. Hi, my name is Jonas. Hi, my name is Jensen. Hi, my name is Seth. Hi, my name is Eva. Hi, my name is Julia. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello learners! You already learned that your brain has different regions that control different things. Your cerebrum helps you think and speak. Your prefrontal cortex helps you make smart decisions. Your cerebellum helps you move and balance. Your hippocampus helps you store and find memories. Your amygdala is where you feel your emotions. And your brainstem controls your involuntary movements like your breathing and your heartbeat. Now, I want to show you something really cool. Today, we're going to take on the challenge of learning how to use our hand to visualize the structure of our brain. Are you curious? Let's fire up our neurons and get ready to learn something new. our hand to make a model of our brain. Hold up your hand like this. We start with our wrist and palm. This represents our brain stem. Now fold your thumb into your palm, just like this. Can you do that? Your thumb represents the amygdala. These parts of our brain, our brain stem and our amygdala, are some of the earliest parts of our brain to develop and sometimes get the nickname of lizard brain. You'll learn a little bit more about that with Dr. Nagler. But for now, let's keep going with our hand model. We have more sections of the brain to make, don't we? Now that we have our amygdala, wrap your fingers over your thumb to make a fist, just like this. These fingers represent our upper brain. Back here is our cerebellum. That keeps us balanced. Up top, we have our cerebrum. That helps us think and speak. And right up front, we have the prefrontal cortex, which helps us make smart decisions. This is our hand-brain model, and it's a great symbol of our brain. It's not exactly what the brain looks like, but it can help us communicate things about our brain and how we're feeling. Like, look at this. See how our cerebrum and prefrontal cortex wrap snugly over our amygdala, keeping it nice and secure? When our prefrontal cortex is in control, we feel happy, calm, and focused. We are ready to do our best learning. But we don't always feel that way, do we? Sometimes we feel upset, or angry, or frustrated, or too excited. Sometimes we even feel so silly, it feels like we're losing control of our bodies. And that's okay. We all have times where our emotions take over and we have a hard time focusing and making smart decisions. When we feel this way, it's because our amygdala is in control. We can represent this by opening our palm to show our amygdala. It's kind of like saying, I flipped my lid and now my amygdala is in control. Right now, we can't even see the prefrontal cortex. 
Our hand-brain model gives us a great way to communicate which part of our brain is in control. And that's really important because when our amygdala takes control, we have a very hard time focusing. The amygdala is great at emotions, but not so great at making decisions. But why is that? I'm curious to learn more about my amygdala. Well, for that, you're going to visit my friend, Dr. Nagler, in his lab. Thanks for joining me, learners. I hope you're curious to learn more about your extraordinary brain. Dr. Nagler is going to keep teaching you about how our amygdala works and how our prefrontal cortex can help. And we have a bunch of other videos to explore how our brain works and help us grow. Oh, and congratulations, you just got smarter. Oh, 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 oh,